Hello guys, this is Percy. Today we're gonna talk about Moray, epicenter of agriculture technology. The Inca engineering reached a remarkable level of development thanks to the legacy received from different cultures. But there is no doubt that the Inca ingenuity was able to perfect and get a maximum production level of all their lands. So once again, the sacred valley of the Inca surprises us and presents us with a great work of the Inca agriculture engineering, the circular terraces of Moray. Moray is an Inca archaeological site located 36 miles away northwest of Cusco City. It is built on the slopes of the mountain called Wanyingmarca between the communities of Muyacas and Misminay in the province of Urubamba, Cusco region. The viewpoint is located at 11,568 feet above sea level. As with the rest of the Cusco region, there are two distinct seasons in Moray, the dry season and the rainy season. In the dry season, the average temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and it can drop to 33 degrees Fahrenheit at night. While in the rainy season, the average is 72 degrees Fahrenheit and during the nights, an average of 43 degrees Fahrenheit. The term Moray is the construction of two Quechua terms, Muyu and Uray, that would be translated as the circle of the lower part. Before the Incas, this area was populated by different ethnic groups, among which the Cuyusuyus and the Ayermacas stand out. Once they were subjected to the Incas, immense terraces and sophisticated hydraulic systems were built all over the valley, generating a massive production of different agricultural products. One of these places is Moray, known worldwide for its system of concentric terraces. The total area of the site is 37 hectares, of which only 5 cover the land of the terrace formed by 4 concentric circles. The depth of the largest circle is 140 meters. The average height of each Incan terrace is 1.80 meters. Regarding the origin of the terraces, geological studies explain that Moray is the result of a special type of geological depression called a doline, a consequence of constant erosion caused by rainfall and underground water currents. It is believed that before the Incas mastered these depressions, they were lagoons of irregular dimensions here. There are some people who claim that the depressions are the result of a meteorite impact, but there is very little evidence to support this theory. The first aerial photograph of the site was recorded in 1932 by the American geologist Robert Scheib and it was released for the first time scientifically to the world. Long ago, for many years, it was believed that these terraces had similar functions to an amphitheater for gymnastic, military and ritual demonstrations. Sometime later, another theory emerged, the most accepted today, which suggests that Moray was a center for agriculture, experimentation, treatment, and hybridization. New varieties of food plants were produced here. According to various investigations, it is believed that here they experimented with various crops at different temperatures with a variation of 1 to 2 degrees with respect to the highest areas and as you go down to the bottom of the terraces. In this way, up to 20 different types of microclimes were recreated. It is also mentioned that here new varieties of food plants were achieved, mainly the potato. They cultivated products such as white corn in the lower areas and tubers such as potatoes in the higher areas. It is also assumed 
that the Incas experimented with different type of soil mixtures and their impact on the quality of the terrace's drainage. In some terraces there is a higher concentration of humidity and evaporation. This is an important factor in experimenting with crops and their resistance to the rain. Other researchers such as Patricia Arroyo consider that Moray could have been a greenhouse, since in the depressions the temperature is more stable than in the flat area of the sector. Moray has the following sectors. Cachuyugmuyo, also called Hatumuyo or Big Circle because it is the biggest concentric platform made up of 14 terraces, 7 circular and 7 with extensions towards the southwest. There are two rectangular structures that are believed to have been seed deposits. It was in this sector where most of the research was carried out. The remaining three sectors are named. Simeyuhmuyu or Kolpaktoko has seven circular rings and is the most deteriorated. Intiwatanamuyu or Pakatoko it is located to the north and also has seven circular terraces. Uichimuyu is the smallest because it only has two terraces. The number 7 for the Andean beliefs is representing the Pleiades constellation or the origin of the humanity. There is still much to be investigated in this place. More Incan constructions like those of Moray have been serving as an example for future generations due to the perfection of the techniques used. Cusco is the legacy of great Incan constructions that are a sample for a strong discipline to make reality what even today seems a fantasy. Thanks for watching our videos. We are in Kaini Peru Tours. If you like it, share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next videos.